Welcome to the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast with your host, Mike Campion. If you are passionate about the cleaning industry, you are in the right place. Love what you hear? Spread the word and tell the cleaning world this is the place to be. Want more? Check out www.growmycleaningcompany.com for free online video trainings, free ebook downloads, free blog posts, and of course, all the podcast episodes. Everything you need to grow your cleaning company is at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. And now, on with the show. Welcome to the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast, where I coach owners of cleaning companies every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and anything and everything you need to grow your cleaning company. If that's you and you are committed to growing your cleaning company, you're in the right spot. Also check out growmycleaningcompany.com where you get everything you need to create the cleaning company of your dreams, including webinars, blogs, podcasts, all sorts of nonsense. If you want to be a guest on the show, reach out to our producer, Natalie at nat, N-A-T at growmycleaningcompany.com or give us a call at 480-648-5149. You can apply to be on the show, ask a question, give feedback. Uh, we love interacting with Cleaning Nation. That said, today we are chatting with Carla Schiavo from Back to Basics Green Cleaning. Back to Basics serves the Philadelphia area with residential cleaning services, mostly a little commercial in there. If you want to reach out to Carla and her team, you can get a hold of them at www.b2b, the number two, b number two, bgreenclean.com. Carla, welcome. Say hello to Clean Nation. Hi. Thanks, Mike. So excited to have you, sister. Um, why don't we start off with anything you're willing to share about you, how you got in the business, if you're married, if you got kids, if you're uh, what you do for fun, any sort of good stuff. Okay. Um, I guess I can talk about how I started the business. Um, just about three years ago, I was just looking for a career change, something that would be um, flexible enough that I could be at home with my kids. So um, I was already into eco-friendly cleaning, making my own cleaning products, and um, I thought this might be a great niche in the cleaning market. So I made some business cards, some flyers, and got started. Fantastic. And how how are you doing now in terms of, um, is it just you? Do you got a bunch of employees running around? What's shaking? Yeah, we're doing great. Um, It started off with just me, and then... um, I brought two girls on that I knew, uh, and then it just grew from there. Um, you know, people that I knew kept asking, oh, do you, do you need some help? And I said, yeah. So more employees, more jobs, and, you know, it's just kind of gained some momentum, and it, it hasn't stopped. So it's been really good. That's awesome. That is super exciting to hear. Um, all right. Well, let's. I guess let's just jump right in. What question can I help you with? What's going on in your business that I can help you with today? Um, I guess the question I have is I would like to um, kind of let go of some of the control as far as on-site, like cleaning the jobs and whatnot, and transition myself more into a position where I'm actually running the business and doing less cleaning. Okay. So uh, I don't, I'm not sure which steps to take. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like you're just looking to transition out of doing some of the cleaning yourself and um, kind of being, dare I say, a control freak and kind of let people do their jobs. Yes, exactly. Okay. How many cleaners do you have now? Um, eight. Okay. Plus you? Plus me. Okay. And would you say most of the time you're cleaning because there's no one else to clean or you feel like you need to clean or which accounts are you cleaning and why? Um, well, there are some accounts that I'm cleaning because I feel like the client wouldn't be comfortable with me not being there. Um, mostly my older clients, um, you know, they, they're not comfortable with people they don't know, I've tried, you know, I've tried taking the route where I go with somebody else or another team for a few times um, and then kind of phase myself out. But it, it, there always seems to be complaints when I'm not there. And I don't think it's the cleaner's fault. I think it's just a lot of times um, people being a little over analytical and looking for, you know, just not feeling comfortable. Um, Okay, so let's back so it up a little bit. There's that. 
Why mm-hmm. is it important for you to um, you to get out of doing the cleaning? Because I want to grow the business. Um, I want to organize it more. So, um, you know, in a couple of years, I can either open up another location or sell the business. You know, I just want to, I want to grow things. I want to, um, you know, I really want to develop the, the, the brand. And I think what we're doing is great. There's a, a lot of demand for it. And we're, the area where we serve, um, we are the only company that cleans the way we do. So there's a lot of opportunity for growth. Um, you know, I just don't have the time to make it happen with all the cleaning. Okay. So let me rephrase what I thought I heard you say. So I, I make sure I'm, I'm coaching you on, on the reality, not what I, I think you're saying. What I hear you saying is you're not okay. cleaning so much as there's just no one else to do it. You're kind of intentional. Like these are my accounts. I think if I sent uh, other my employees out, it would upset the customer. So I, I'm kind of mm-hmm. intentionally scheduling myself to do this between running my company and all the other stuff I got to do in my life. Yes. Okay. Yep. So I think the first thing is we've got to shift that perception. What I'm guessing is, you know, the only, the only reasons any of us do anything is either we're trying to get towards pleasure or escape pain. So I hear you saying, well, the reason I'm not leaving is that I, if I, if I stop cleaning, customers will quit and I will, that will cause me pain and I don't want that pain. So right now the pain of uh, the pleasure of being comfortable with these customers cleaning or staying is greater than the pain of having them leave if I stop showing up. Is that fair? Right. Okay. Yep. So the first thing we got to do in your mind and anybody's mind that um, kind of, cause I, we have this conversation all the time is we got to shift that to the pain is if you keep cleaning the, all the hopes and dreams that you have for your, your baby, your business are gone and dead. You've got to start associating right. you cleaning with literally killing your baby. Uh, not your baby, baby right. but your business baby, right? So we've got to make that right. shift because yep. I can give you all the tactics and the strategies and yell at you or whatever we want to do. But as long as you associate <laughs> more pain to um, stopping cleaning than starting cleaning, I'm just going to be kind of talking in the wind. Fair? Okay. Okay. So first and foremost, let's just link it up correctly. Let's just talk through kind of worst case scenario. You uh, make an edict you know, 30 days from today, uh, I will not be cleaning. You send out a memo to all your people. Uh, ideally you position it for them. Like, Hey, just so you know, when I'm here and if I'm the only one that's here, when, when Carla is sick or wants to take a vacation or isn't feeling well, um, you get a bad cleaning service or I don't show up because my kids, whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, so we're going to upgrade your service to, you know, the reason you have a, a cleaning service, not just another human being that you pay, you know, off of Craigslist is you need that consistency. You need the systems behind that. And you need to know if one person's not ready, the next person will show up. So all that to say, uh, my last day cleaning will be here. We're always going to do our best to strive to keep the same cleaners in your home. That's not always possible. That's that. And some people will quit. Um, It's really possible none will quit. But let's just say all of the ones that you're afraid to quit, all of your accounts quit. You just have to have the confidence that even if that third or quarter or whatever piece of your business left, that the value that you're going to be able to bring personally with the focus of working 40 hours a week or 30 hours a week or whatever you're cleaning now and investing that in your business is really the the lifeblood that your your business needs. So you've got to just pick a date. Well, first in mind, you've got to settle the fact that what your business needs is for you not to clean. And it will absolutely die of starvation. If the owner is too busy cleaning Mrs. Johnson's house, no one's running the the ship, right? You can't have the captain right. swapping the decks who's looking out for land and doing all the things that need right. to be done. So that's the first shift. The second shift is you kind of put yourself on a deadline in terms of by this date, I don't clean. You let your people know and you just got to mentally prepare yourself that every single one of them are going to quit. And when they don't, so be it. And if they do, you say, well, great. Guess what? We've now got a new client attraction specialist named Carla who's amazing. And she's just going to go get all these clients that she could never get because she's too busy cleaning houses. Um, right, so right. that's the easy answer, but I'm guessing there's still some fear or, or hesitation. Uh, kind of give me a response or what you're thinking so far. Well, I think that's great. I never thought about sending out a letter, which seems like the simple solution and just kind of seeing what happens. Cause it will open up space in the schedule for people who are open to using the service as I see it, you know, as I see the business to be in the future. Um, the other issue I have with, with, um, pulling out of the cleaning is a lot of the clients who 
I am afraid are going to be offended when I leave or when I stop cleaning are not paying the, uh, you know, when you first get out there and you start doing your quotes, you're always way off. So um, I guess, you know, what happens when I send somebody in my place and now I'm not profiting off of those jobs if they decide to stay. Okay, so that's a well. That that I'm so glad that you asked that because that's a whole different dynamic that makes things even worse. What I hear you saying right. is not only are you cleaning, but you're cleaning accounts that aren't even profitable. That so good, they need to quit. You need to replace those with accounts <laughs> that are profitable for crying out loud. I know you're right. Oh my god, it's, it's coming out of my mouth. It sounds really. <laughs> yeah, as you were saying it, I'm like, I can't believe she's asking me what if. But the the accounts that I'm cleaning are the worst accounts. What if they stay? Well, then for crying out loud, raise prices. Or why were you afraid of in the, in the, uh, <laughs> what were you afraid of in the first place that these not profitable accounts were going to quit? Well, good on you. That'll help. I know. I know. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if All these right. accounts that are making any money leave? Well, then, then, then send them a thank well, you they're, card. They're what do you making mean? some money. <laughs> they're making some money when I'm cleaning them, but when I'm not cleaning them, they're not going to be making any money. Oh my gosh. That um, is such that's a, a really big, good point. That, just so you know, and I've got to jump in and tell you, cause I don't want cleaning nation to miss this. That is a lie from the pit of hell. And I hear it all the time that <laughs> never, ever cleaning nation. Yeah. Whenever you tell yourself it only makes money when I clean it. Bull crap. That means it does not make money. We are not in the business of cleaning right. toilets. We're in the business of attracting clients and attracting customers. And if it can't make money with someone else doing it, it's a bad account. It's not making you money, period. End of sentence. It's not ever. worth it. It's not. Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, I, I would, understand. I'd probably go with the one-two punch because I'm a terrible human being. I would in one letter, because you don't want to send one letter and then now you're like, oh, I just pissed them off before. I can't, you know, now I can't raise prices for, screw all that. One letter. Here's <laughs> Based right. on the way we've done stuff, we can't make any money or we can't service you at the level that you expect um, with me cleaning at this price. So here's your new cleaners. Right. Here's your new price. We're super excited. Um, we love you. You know, hopefully you still love us. If we, if you, you know, if the one thing we can do is you can give us a referral. We'll give you a free month cleaning or something like that. But I would just pull the band aid and put everybody up to the right prices and with the right cleaners all at once. And if they leave, uh, thank God you just hired an amazing saleswoman in the lovely Carla Shivo to get out there and get you new accounts. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I didn't even think about it. I mean, it really did sound silly as I was saying it. I literally couldn't believe it. I'm like, is this woman asking me what if my terrible accounts leave? <laughs> and then you said, I'm like, oh my gosh, there she is. <laughs> um, I know. I know. I'm the lady. I'm just too nice. I'm like too nice. I always worry about everybody else, but. All right. So, all right. So that problem solved. I'm going to raise their rates, rates and I'm going to stop cleaning their accounts. And I'll probably open up about 10 spots a week in my schedule. Yeah. That you can fill in with other accounts that are profitable that you're not cleaning. And again, hopefully once you do this, you'll never go back because um, you'll start seeing that no matter how good of a cleaner you are, um, if you, if I had in my pocket, the best cleaner that you're ever going to hire, they're fast, they're efficient. They never lied. They never cheated. They never sold. They never called in late. They always showed up on time. The absolute most you might pay them, depending on the part of the country you're in might be like, I don't know, 14, 15 bucks an hour. Is that fair? Like top end? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yep. Let's call it 15 bucks an hour. They're the best, right? They're better than yeah. you. They're just, no one's as good as this cleaner. You still, you can't pay them a hundred dollars an hour, right? doesn't matter how good they are. It's 15 bucks is the most you yeah, can pay. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, that's, let's I say the girls fifteen dollars. Oh, okay, great. So you've got. Let's say fine. If you mm -hmm. pay people fifteen, let's call it twenty. This is. I mean, literally, this is like a bion bionic <laughs> cleaner. You can't even get over how good she is. Right. If you're cleaning, and you're as good as this amazing human being that doesn't even exist. The most you can be earning is twenty bucks an hour, right? But right, if, right. You're, if you're getting an account that is going to stay for, say your average account's 200 bucks, that's 2,500 a year. Say they average for three years, that's $7,500. You get one account that three or four or five hours it took you to get that one account was worth $7,500. What's that per hour? It's a th over $1,000 an hour. But if you're cleaning, yeah. no matter how good you clean, you can't, you, you've, you've earned no more than 20 bucks. You just can't. Yeah, you yeah. Yeah, you're right. And you might go, no, no, they pay me $40 an hour. Well, yeah, but the other $20 that you could have paid someone else to do, that's the profit. right? So you're not yeah. making the 20 yeah. bucks an hour. You can only earn the $20 an hour. So 
just don't ever fool yourself into thinking I need to clean this thing because you never do. You can never, you just can't make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year or even build a business that's scalable where you could sell it or open another company or open another location if you're cleaning. You just absolutely can't. So yeah. you've got to switch that in your mind. Picture every time you clean it, you just, you've got your business in your hands and you're just choking the life out of it because that's, that's really what's happening. Yeah, I can, I feel that now because we're, we're really busy and, you know, I find myself cleaning and I'm like, oh my God, all the things I could be doing right now, the calls I could be returning, the, like the newsletter I still have it mailed out, you know, like, yeah, yep, you're right. Well, and for the yeah. people, let's say the people that do get fussy with you for leaving, let's say that, you know, you're on a plane and you see the pilot running back and he's got the little sweeper vacuum. He's like, Hey, do you want any Coke? Do you want, you know, peanuts? What are you going? You would be like, what the <laughs> good God, man, like fly the plane. He's like, no, no, no. The people in three E would be really upset. They know me. And if I didn't bring them peanuts, they would be free. You'd be like, I don't care about the people in three. Somebody's got to fly the plane. So that's really where you're at. <laughs> If you're if you're cleaning, ain't yeah. nobody flying your plane, and you're serving peanuts, which there's no shame in that. That's an important job. I'm not knocking it, but you don't want the guy that's flying the plane serving the peanuts, and you don't want the guy serving the peanuts flying the plane. So just if you want to be an owner, be an owner. If you want to be a cleaner, quit right. flying around with what you're doing and just go get paid your 15 bucks and, and let someone else deal with all the headache and just clean. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. Uh, it's good. Right. I feel like I've, right. I've ranted and I'm abused you way too much. What's any questions, comments, or thoughts before we move on to the lightning round? Um, no, I think that's, I think you answered it. You just, I'm, it seems so simple. I feel <laughs> silly. All right. Yeah, I'm good. All right, good. I'm glad I could help. And there's a lot of stuff where that's how it works with coaching, where it's, you know, it seems complex and then you have a conversation and, and all of a sudden it, it makes sense, which is exactly what we're supposed to do. And I'm glad that we got to share right. Uh, share your kind of transformation with Cleaning Nation. I think they're going to get some value. <laughs> uh, now, we'll turn around, give you the chance to give some value. Uh, I'm going to ask you three quick questions, and I have high hopes you're going to give three amazing answers. Question number one, what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? The best piece of advice I've ever received? I would have to say, um, am I allowed to use any colorful language on your show? Color up, my friend. What's that? I said, color up, my friend. Okay. I guess the best advice I've ever received is you don't know shit about shit, and that's the good news. <laughs> Never know what's coming around the pike. That was uh, almost eloquent. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. yeah actually, I, mean, I like I mean, that. that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. All right. Number two, what's the biggest yeah. mistake you've made in the cleaning business so we can uh, perhaps save ourselves some of that same grief? Hmm. The biggest mistake I've ever made. Um, I would have to go with hmm, renting equipment without taking it on a job and not testing it out before I got there. <laughs> Oh like my gosh! Assuming it works, it know? sounds like there's a story behind that. I wish <laughs> I wish we had time because I'm sure it's awesome and terrible all at once. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Test so your yeah, equipment. I, I, yeah, I just always make sure I'm super prepared every night. Anymore after that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last question: What's one idea that Cleaning Nation can put into practice right away uh, that will improve their lives and or their business? Hmm. One piece of advice. Um, I don't know, Mike. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, yeah, it could be personal business, just say, anything. I would say, um, you know, always trust your instincts. You know, um, I think if you, if if in your mind you you feel like something might not work out, but you maybe you're feeling a little desperate and you say, let's give it a shot. Chances are, it's probably not going to work. <laughs> Um, and if you have a good feeling, you know, take a gamble, you know, I've, I've like hired people without jobs to give them and, um, you know, and, and things work out great. I'm really glad they're on board. And all of a sudden I've got like five new clients and I'm more thankful than ever that they're here. Man, I'm glad you say that. Cause I am constantly telling people, and I think half the time they look at me like I'm crazy. Uh, if you've got a really talented human being standing in front of you wanting work, hire them. And the, the, yeah. It's funny how almost magically the work will show up. It works a lot easier to find than talented human beings. So I thank you for uh, uh, thank you for doing my job for me and sharing that. I really appreciate it. All right. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. That said, 
Carla, you were awesome. I really appreciate you coming on board. Thank you for being so transparent and sharing your passion, your desire to grow. I appreciate you. I know Cleaning Nation appreciates you. Cleaning Nation, if you want to check out Carla's show notes page and discover everything you need to grow your cleaning company, go to growmycleaningcompany.com. Leave your questions, your comments, your rude remarks, and I will see you there. Congratulations. You are now 16% smarter. Still can't get enough cleaning goodness? Go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com for more of the good stuff. Ever want to be rich and famous? Owners of cleaning companies as well as industry experts can apply to be featured on the show by emailing our producer Natalie at support at growmycleaningcompany.com. Until then, don't miss out on all the latest cleaning industry loving at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now.